Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetcottage.net. So today we're going to talk about knockout text right in Cricut Design Space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an image and I'm going to knock it out of some text so you get a really cool effect where the text is still there but you also have an image. It's a really cool effect and will take your projects kind of up to the next level and it's super easy to do once you know the method. So I'm gonna do an example project, but remember you can use this for any designs. So think about things that you wanna make and how do you use the same process to make something amazing for you. So here we go, let's look at how to do it. All right, so we're gonna play around with doing knockout text in Cricut Design Space. So the first thing we wanna do is add a word to Cricut Design Space. So we are going to actually add the word, we're gonna add the word celebrate. And I'm gonna pick a font. So you want something that's big and chunky, like this font here. This is actually one I have on my computer, but there are big and chunky fonts that are on Cricut Design Space as well. And then you'll want the letters fairly close together. So you can do that one of two ways. So you can change the letter spacing, or you can actually ungroup the letters and you can move them individually if you need to. Just be sure to weld them back together before you do the next step. So I'm actually going to ungroup to letters because I want this T way closer to the A than it was. So now everything looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna pick them back together and weld them. So now it's all one word again. Now you can also unlock it and you can make it taller if you wanted to rather than just increasing the size of the entire thing. Now we need to find an image to knock out of this. So what I would like to do, I'm going to clear my filters and I'm going to pick, and what I'm looking for is a very simple outline of a firecracker itself. So that's what I want to knock out of my word. Now, these, this is completely an example. It can be used with any word and any image. The, the key would be to find something that is both easy as far as the letters themselves, like a big chunky font, and then a image to knock out of that that is also fairly simple. So something that doesn't have a whole lot of lines, something that is fairly simple. So this one we could actually use. So let's insert this one. And what we can do is once it's in, we can delete off part of that and make it a fairly simple thing. So we want to ungroup it. And then if we move this purple off, delete it, the pink is a fairly simple firework design. And then we can do it however we like. So now we can totally play with it. So we can change the size and the shape. We can rotate it. We just want to play around with where it is on the word. We can also unlock this as well. And we can have it over the entire word, just part of the word, like this part is completely, completely up to you however you want it to look on the word itself. So for me, that's pretty good, I think. So then I'm gonna pick both of those. So you notice we have two pieces. We have the text and we have the image. So you just want two pieces for this portion. And then we click slice. Before we do anything, we want to be very careful about what we move. So we can actually pick those pieces over here. So I can actually delete this and then I can undo it if it's the wrong thing. So if I delete this portion, we can see that that's correct. I can delete this portion. We can see that that's correct. So now I can cut this out of two different pieces of vinyl and I can still see the word celebrate, but I also have that great firecracker image embedded within that word as sort of a knockout. So it's a way to do knockout text all within Cricut Design Space. So it's pretty easy and it'll definitely take your designs up a notch, right? So instead of just a shirt with one plain word, it'll be this word with a cool graphic out of it and people will be like, how did you make that? And you can say, 
right in Cricut Design's face. So if you've loved this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. You will also want to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. This is actually part of our Cricut Basics series where we go through small little things that you might not know about Cricut Design Space. If you want to see all of those, head to our YouTube channel, scroll down, look for Cricut Basics, hit play all. You can watch tons of different videos, small, little, short videos that teach you all about Cricut Design Space. If you have a question about Cricut Design Space, don't see a video on it, leave me a comment below. I'll either comment with a past video where we answer that question, or I might even answer that question on a future video right here on YouTube. So be sure to give us a thumbs up, comment below, and then subscribe so you don't miss any of the Cricut fun. We do these, these kind of videos regularly, plus other crafts and Cricut crafts as well. So if you love crafting, you want to be sure to subscribe. Thanks y'all so much for joining me, and I will see you next week.